Sonia, can you introduce yourself and um, the Global Water Partnership? Thank you. Yes, I'm Anya Grabitsky, the Executive Secretary of the Global Water Partnership. Um, we're a global action network which works in 13 regions worldwide, focusing really in, in the developing countries and the developing world. Um, and our global secretariat just coordinates and, and helps to also do the communications um, on a global level for these 13 regions um, based in Stockholm. Uh, what is your main message or main um, yeah what is your message for this for this for this conference well firstly I'm very glad to be here because I come from Cape Town and I'm so proud that Cape Town is hosting this wonderful international event um, focusing on water and cities there couldn't be a more appropriate place to have this event but my main message here is that we really need to be talking to the sectors who need water, who use water. It's people need water every day for water supply, for hygiene and sanitation. But it's also the sectors that the, that the people who grow food, the agriculture sector, desperately needs water and that can often come into competition with the cities. The energy sector needs water when a dam runs dry, then the hydroelectric power station no longer produces electricity and then the cities have blackouts. And the environmental sector, we have huge issues with people's livelihoods no longer being supported by ecosystems because river systems are being damaged. We really need to look in a very holistic sense at where is our water coming from, how is it going to continue to be sustainable, particularly with the challenges of climate change, we're already seeing very extreme climate events that are hitting many, many societies and, and cities and people are suffering around the world with real hardship because of these extreme climate events, which uh, many of us are, are convinced are linked to the climate change that we're seeing, but that's impacting on the water cycle. Um, we need to look at all of these things in an integrated way. And, and not just focus on delivering the hardware. So what is your suggestion to do that? So holistic, integrated, uh, with everybody involved, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, in terms of any project that's being established, it's very important to bring the stakeholders together around the table. But most of all, um, in terms of water issues, water people need to become much better at talking to people in other sectors, in the energy sector, in the environment sector, in the food and agriculture sector, which is so desperately important. We're seeing the highest food prices now that have been for a very long time. Um, and food security is as essential as water security to people. So these are challenges which have to be taken on board and we have a responsibility to communicate this um, to show that water is integral to all of these sectors. It's, it's integral to all of life, as we know, um, if we are water people. But we have to become much better at, at really communicating this and linking with the people in other sectors and showing how increasingly with population growth, with the extreme climatic events that we're seeing, this is going to become more vital that we talk more and communicate better with each other. Okay. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you.